congratulations, we made it. The last four years have been interesting to say the least, and it gets worse from there. That was the beginning of a boring speech that I was told to read two months after I had already written and rehearsed my speech. My speech was about my challenges and the challenges that the seniors at East Noble High School were about to face. My speech was about the teachers who had helped me get through high school and that made it fun along the way. My speech was personal with humanity and humor. There was nothing offensive about my speech. There was nothing controversial about my speech. There was nothing political nor religious about my speech. There was nothing objectionable in my speech. There was absolutely nothing inappropriate about my speech. The teacher could have given me a few suggestions, although I had already gotten plenty of feedback for two months from my family and friends. The teacher could have told me to make it a little bit shorter or maybe to make it a little bit longer or if there was anything inappropriate in it to take it out. But there wasn't, and she told me there wasn't. But the teacher should not have made me read a different speech that I had not written two months after I had already prepared mine. And the principal should not have taken away my speech and the signs that I made to go along with it a half hour before graduation. And the superintendent should not have allowed this, especially after she learned that the speech contained nothing offensive. And she knew 100% that I did not want to read a soulless, formulaic speech. I do not believe this has ever happened before at any high school in America, where a student's speech was confiscated right before he or she was about to go on stage. If you don't believe me, search the internet. I cannot find a single instance. It's true. And it should not have happened here at East Noble High School, unless free speech is no longer valued in our community.